Hello there. Welcome to Embracing Mattress. My name is Renee. This is going to be a relationship reading for the sign of Capricorn for the week of February 9th through February 15th. I hope everyone's doing well. Please do me the favor of like, sharing, and subscribing this page. I'm trying to uh, grow my page to get the spiritual messages out so that I can help heal more people of the world, you know? Um... I hope that, like I said, everyone is doing well. This, the the energies this week are really, really heavy all the way across the collective from what I'm feeling. And yeah, everyone just <laughs> needs that extra oomph. Um, so take what mes messages resonate, leave what does not. You know, you do have the option of pulling yourself a free birth chart to try to figure out what other signs are in your birth chart. Um, as well as I'm not doing any personal readings right now. I will be picking those up within a month. Um, you know, you do have the option of donating if that's what you would like to do. That's an option. I really appreciate it. Um, but at this time, no personal readings until further notice. I will let you guys know when I'm going to be doing that. Um, without further ado, let's get into this read. Um, again, collectively, you know, the energies are all over the place right now due to all the, you know, astrological things that are going on and, um, I just send love and light to everyone. So for Capricorn, February 9th through the 15th. Capricorn, February 9th through the 15th, please. Capricorn, February 9th through the 15th. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we'll keep those. White Tara, sensitivity. You're becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. And Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Okay, Leah, it seems like you're going through some of those energies that I was speaking about, Capricorns. I'm sorry. You know, it's just a lot for everyone right now. Um, so regarding the white tower, okay, where it says that you're sensitive right now, the message for this card is as you're purified, you're in a world of thoughts, actions, and intentions, okay? Let me start over. As you've purified your inner world of thoughts, actions, and intentions, it's natural that you seek purity in your outer world as well. This is to acknowledge your heightened sensitivity, which is as it seems. So the, whatever you're feeling is, is correct right now. You've stripped away the outer protective layers of unneeded defenses, which blocked your psychic and spiritual awareness. Now you're on the path of ascension, which calls for your heightened awareness. And with this awareness comes new levels of sensitivity to impure and harsh to the impure and harsh. Your body is a trustworthy instrument of measurement of your tolerance level. Stay clear of that which your body signals you to avoid. Take excellent care of your body and it shall serve you well. So your body is saying to you and your mind, your spirit is saying, get that bullshit away from me. I don't want to be bothered with that. Okay. You have to understand that you may be in your feelings about something. And again, this is a relationship read. So I'm going to say that you're in your feelings regarding a relationship. And you're feeling really, really touchy about it. Okay? And this may mean that you don't want to be bothered. Okay? And that you're doing everything that you can do to protect yourself from, from whatever type of negativity may be coming your way. And you're being called to steer clear of anything that could be perceived as something negative in your world right now, okay? Because you just can't handle it. Now, I'm not saying men and women that you guys are not strong. I'm saying mentally your mind and spirit is saying that at this moment you're extra sensitive. So you need to do what you need to do to protect yourself, okay? But in the midst, don't back down. Okay, you have Bridget, somebody may be bothering you, you may be having to speak your truth, you may have to put someone in their place, you know. Now, first, be clear about your intentions. If unclear, then confusion will lessen your power and force. Like a candle in the dark, be very clear and bright. And what is acceptable to you in this situation? Make no mistake, 
I will guide and protect you, Spirit is telling you, okay? And yet, think of the unparalleled rise in your own viewpoint if you are able to stand up for yourself, speak about your needs and your deepest truths. Now is the time to touch your power, for its heat and flame will ignite your passion, which will propel you forward in countless ways. Even in the fear, excuse me, in the face of fear, you can stand, you know, in your ideals and your truth. Be unwavering, okay? Be assertive. Don't worry about what the hell somebody else is going to say to you or what they're going to think if they see you standing in your truth, okay? You know, don't don't be worried about people saying, you know, oh, he, she, just in his feelings or whatever. Don't do that. Trust that everything that you're doing is going to work out. Speak your truth and stick to your opinions and put your foot down. It seems to me that somebody's trying to mistreat you or somebody's trying to play you the hell out, Capricorns. You know, they must don't know you like I do. How about that? They must don't know that Capricorns ain't taking that shit. Especially, you know, not when they feel like they're being mistreated. That shit ain't going down. All right? You know, they had no clue. Now, you may be quiet for a minute. Okay, or you might be quiet for 20 minutes. But when you when you fed up, that is it. And I know that. So clarifying sensitivity and don't back down for Capricorn, February 9th through the 15th, please, Spirit. Thank you. Capricorn, any other okay. Any other cards for Capricorn? February 8th, okay. February 8th through the 15th. Oh, excuse me, 9th to the 15th. Going once, going twice, going three times. Okay. Here we go. And I'm going to take them. Okay. Whew. All right. Now. You're being called to take a leap of faith after you've been in conflict with someone over a relationship. You're being called to do something new here, okay? But you've been arguing with this person. You may have had an argument or a disagreement, what have you, okay? You may be in your feelings about this and in hermit mode. You stay into yourself trying to figure out and contemplate what you would like to do, okay? I'm feeling like the way that these cards fell are not the way that I'm supposed to be reading them because this makes more sense to me. All right? Trying to put them in a in in a pretense of how they fell, you know, when they fall like in a bunch like that is very hard, but you know, I really feel like you're in conflict with someone because you felt like they left you out in the cold, that they left you hanging in some way. They wasn't giving you um, the love and care and support that you deserve, or they weren't willing to be in this relationship with you. And you were basically, you know, were in your feelings about it. And because they weren't able to give you and, and were trying to reciprocate in this relationship, you guys were in a stalemate situation, just looking at each other, trying to figure out who going to do what, right? And you went within, okay, Capricorn, to try and contemplate what it is that you wanted to do, okay, right? And when it came to the stress and the strife with this person, all right, you didn't back down. You spoke your truth or you will be doing this. I'm not sure if this happened yet or if this is something that will be happening. But someone here I see speaking their truth because they felt like they were out in the cold. They felt like somebody just disregarded them or their feelings and they didn't appreciate how they were treated. Okay, and they went within, all right, to, to assess what to do because, you know, the situation wasn't moving forward the way that they wanted it to. And with the contemplation, you know, I'm feeling like this person, you know, whoever it is, whether it's you or your person, you're really in your feelings about this, right? Because this was a harsh, harsh type of relationship. And, you know, basically, you know, the uh, four of pentacles is here, right? And when it comes to the four of pentacles, 
it's like you're you've made up your mind to not focus on this strife and stress in this relationship and you're standing up for what you believe in putting up your boundaries okay because you're in your feelings and you know that you're extra sensitive right now and you're choosing to worry about your money worry about work worry about going forward with your life okay worry about what you need to worry about this is what what i see you know you also have the world card here Okay, which is a completion. You've went through all of these things, all right? If you focus on your job, your money, and your abundance, then the, the, the universe is saying, hey, you're going to be successful at this, all right? And you're going to be prosperous, okay? You know? Unfortunately, you know, with the relationship side of things, it just maybe is not the time for the relationship, but the universe is awarding you with prosperity. Absolutely. Okay. And the universe is saying, hey, just move forward and do what you need to do and take care of yourself and be mindful of everything that you're going through and you're going to be financially successful. You know, that could be the equal give and take that you're getting here. Instead of a person, you could be getting prosperity, abundance. You could be getting a good financial status right now. I understand that sometimes this is not what you want. Okay, but the universe has a way of giving us just what we need. You understand? All right, Capricorns, this has been your message. Please like, share, and subscribe, and take care. Okay, Capricorns, I'm sorry about that. I forgot to pull you guys a Crystal Angel Oracle. Here, we're going to do that now. Sorry about that. Y'all's reading was just so stressful that I was breaking out of that energy and forgot to give you, you know, Spirit's guidance of what you need to do. Okay, so Capricorn for the week of February 9th through 15th. All right, you have Laramar, sensitive emotions. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. And this is what we were actually speaking about during the reading, that you need to take care of yourself right now because you're extra sensitive. You have Jade. The recovery of health and wellness is here. Yep, you're in recovery mode based on all that conflict you were going through. Calcite, busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. Are you staying busy because you're trying to get through this pain and strife? I understand, okay? I totally, totally understand. You have healthy communication and relationships. Heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear assertive communication can help uh, help you understand and be understood you may need to have a conversation with someone this is aqua aura calcite aqua aura you may need to have a conversation with someone capricorn okay sodalite socialize or join in make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people and you have topaz forgiveness heals Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Here's your messages. Take care.